Now it's time to start with the CSS part of the project. So for that we need to use the style.css file and I have already linked the style.css file with this particular link tag. So head back to the style.css file. So first we need to here select the body selector and then we need to open its block of the code. So the first thing we need to actually add this color. So for that we need to use here a background property which is a background color property and then I will be using the color which is like this one and this pink color which is a light pink i think and then it is like a font family because we need to change the font so i will be using my favorite font which is arial and then just removing this helvetica one because i want to use the arial sans serif then you can see the font is now changed and the next we need to add the margin to zero and then padding to also zero then we need to use the box sizing so box sizing i will be using a border box and then i will be using here a display which is going to be flex and then i need to use here a justify content which is going to be the center of the screen and then i need to add here a display which is going to be like uh, okay and not display we need to actually use here align because we already used the display which is the align items to be center of the screen so if i use it then you can see now the content is actually center of the screen but we want to actually also center the content to vertically in the middle of the screen so for that actually i have minimized it so for that we need to actually here specify the height property which is going to be equal to 100 vh and you can see now the content is come to the center of the screen so our next step is we need to style with these elements or also the main love container which is this particular container and also this container so come back to the style.css file and just making some room so first we need to select the container so for that we need to use here a dot container and then inside of that we need to add the width so width is going to be 500 pixel once i added the width then you can see there is a slight change inside this particular container of the love then i need to enter here a background color so that we can see the changes clearly so it is going to f0 and also there is a f and then i need to here use the f6 control save it then you can see this is the another different pink version of the color and after that i need to here use the padding and here we need to add the 50 pixel all right and then we need to enter here a border radius so border radius is going to be 10 pixel if i control save it then you can see there is a changes inside this particular application so if i just increase the size of the browser window and reduce the size of the visual studio code so now you can see the changes directly inside the browser means you see the changes clearly after specifying the border radius then we need to use the box shadow which is my favorite property so box shadow 2 pixel 5 pixel value which is the blurness and then i need to use here a rgba function so for rgb value i need to specify here as 0 and for the alpha it is going to be 0.2 then you can see there is a nice card like structure which is a 3d look to this particular container and after that we need to add the border which is a solid border so it is going to be like a border property so i need to add a 2 pixel border which is of solid and then i need to specify the color so it is going to have f and then 85c0 so this will be the color code used for the border all right so that's not the completion of the code for the container so the next step is when you start with the code of this particular love calculator heading so it is an h2 element so i'm going to directly selecting this particular element because right now it is a mini project so there is no such problem but if you're having a big project that has multiple h2 element then you need to use the class and id selectors in order to style the elements perfectly because if you style the selector directly with the tag name it means that you are actually resetting its base styles so that is why you need to take care in case of the bigger websites because right now this is a very small project so that is why i am selecting the tags by its name which is a tag selector okay so inside of this h2 first we need to change the color so it is a color property and then i need to specify the color code so this will be the color code that we are going to use for this love calculator and then i need to specify the font size because right now the font size is small i think so i need to enter here a 28 pixel so now it actually looks great then i need to specify the margin from bottom which is going to be 30 pixel 
So you can see there is a margin is applied to this particular H2 element. Now removing the extra spaces because we want we want to add some more code for the other style elements. Now the next step is we need to actually start with the this particular one which is the love calculator. So selecting this particular division element. So I'm going to control C to copy it and then come back to here and just simply pasting the name after the dot which is used for the selection of the class selector inside the CSS. So here I will be using the margin top property because I want to apply the margin from top it is going to be 20 pixel. All right. And after that, we need to actually select here a label. Again, I'm selecting the label tag directly. So here I will be using the display. So display is going to be like block. So if I save it, then you can see every element is now appearing in a column like structure. Then after that, I need to add here a margin property, which is a margin top, which is going to be 10 pixel. So that there should be a margin between all of these elements. And after that, we need to add the margin bottom property also. So margin bottom is going to be like 10 pixel again. Then now you can see the spaces are properly applied to these or four elements. But right now this button and this division element is now very close to each other. So we need to actually provide some spacing between these two elements. So for that, we need to come back to the end of the label. Here we need to add there the input element and then we need to specify the type. So the type is actually text. So we need to type the whole code. So it is going to be like text. And then we need to start the block of the input type. And after that, we need to specify the width because right now they are very small. So we need to increase the width. So for that, we need to enter here a 95% of the width. Now you can see the width of the input type is increased. And after that, we need to provide the padding also because right now they are very like thin. So we need to provide the padding to 10 pixel. Now you can see the size is also increased. Then we need to add the another property which is like margin top property. It is going to be like 10 pixel. Now there is a space is applied to this input type. And then we need to add here a color property. Color. So that which is used for the font color. So it is auto suggesting us the color. So we want to use that color. So once we type the text, now it has some a pink value of the text color. And after input type, we need to actually style the button. So for that, we need to select here a button. So button, then we need to start the body of the button. The first thing we need to actually provide the background color. So again, we are going to use the color directly with the suggestion and then we need to actually modify the button. So the color we want to provide a white color and then we need to add the border to none because by default there is a border applied to the button and then we need to add the padding. So padding from left and right it is going to be 10 pixel and from like left and right I think I spell it wrong or right. If I increase it then it is actually left and right now. So the first one is for the top and bottom. So padding is 10 pixel applied from the top and bottom and from the left and right it is going to be 20 pixel even you can increase the padding from left and right to 30 pixel and after that we need to add the margin top property so there should be a 10 pixel margin between these two elements which is the last input type which is the partner name input type and also this particular input type and after that we need to enter here uh, another value which is the border radius so border radius is going to be 5 pixel okay so, so there is a rounded border is applied to the pattern and then the last property we need to change the cursor to pointer if i control save it so if i hover over it with the button then you can see the cursor is changed to pointer one now there is also we need to apply the color to this particular label so i forgot it so we need to just simply copy this code from here and also paste it inside of this if i save it then you can see now the color of these two also change in the final version, we also change the color, all right. And then also we need to actually align all of these into the center of the screen. So why they are not actually, we need to apply the center property to the container, which I actually forgot it. So here I need to enter the text align to the center. Now you can see everything is actually aligned to the center of the container. So now coming back to the completion of the code after the button the next thing we need to actually provide some style to this result element so for that we need to select the id selector because inside of the index.html we provide the result as a 
id so for that we need to use here a hash character and then we need to actually specify the name of the id which is result and then start the block of the code for this result selector so the first thing we need to provide the margin which is margin from top is going to be 10 pixel and after that we need to increase the font size so font size is going to be like 22 pixel and then we need to enter the here a color which is like color that is automatically suggested by the visual studio code so you can see now the result is also appear now right now it is such a small because we want to actually display the message like if i enter here my name which i and then if i enter here a name of the another person which is like emily and if i click on calculate so we want to actually craft this entire message with the use of the conditions so we are going to do this thing in the next part of this love calculator project which is a javascript part of the project